everyone, this is Ben. In this video, let's create a simple Telegram bot and send message to a channel without needing to code. All right, first open your Telegram app. I use Telegram desktop. You can do it on your phone, but I prefer desktop. To create a bot, first go to Botfather bot. Botfather. And make sure you're using verified bot. Start it. All right. You can use these commands to create or edit bots. To create a new bot, just run new bot. All right, first choose a name for your bot. I enter Ben. Next, choose a username for your bot, and it must end in bot, like this, Tetris bot or Tetris underscore bot. I choose Ben bot. Already taken. Try something different. All right. Benix bot. Already taken. Ben Ben to bot. All right, done. And this is our bot token. All right. Let's see documents. Open this link. All right. Here is the bot documents. To start with Telegram bots. First, go to making requests. To make your request, you need to send your request to this URL, api.telegram.org slash bot and token. This is the token. And slash method name. Like this. And it supports get and post requests. All right. Let me copy this. Here. And here we need the token. And here is the token. Just click on it to copy. Paste the token here. All right. Now we can run any method with this. Back to the documents. And go to available methods. All right, we can use all these methods. To start, we can use get me. This is a simple method for testing bot authentication and requires no parameters. Copy it and use it here. And let's open it. You can use any tools like curl, PHP, or even browser. I use browser. All right, here is the get me result. Here you can see bot ID, bot first name, bot username, and other data. All right, back to documents. You can run any method you want. For example, I want send message. All right, send message. And here's the parameter type and required or not. For the send message method, two parameters are required, chat ID and text other parameters are optional and you can use them or not anyway first let me copy this send message and paste it here and here i want to use get request so i can add parameters here first chat id which is required and in get request first parameter must start with question mark. All right, chat ID. We'll add it later. And second required parameter is text. And in get request for second and subsequent parameter, you need end sign and the parameter. And for its value, hi. Yeah, let me unzoom. All right. All right, chat ID and text. Now we need a chat ID. Chat ID is a target chat or username or channel username. We can send messages to channels and we can create a channel and send message to it. We can send messages to any chat users and groups. All right, let's create a channel. 
here, new channel, choose a name for it, my channel, description is optional, and create. Here we need a link or username for our channel because it's a public channel. You can also use private channel, but in that case, you will need your channel ID. All right, I choose Ben, Ben, taken, Benix, test. All right, available. Save, and I don't want add members, skip this step. All right, our channel is ready. Now we need to add our bot as admin to our channel. Go to channel administrator and add administrator. Here enter your bot username. What is our bot username? Ben Ben to bot. Copy it and administrator. Add administrator and here it is. Ben Ben to bot. This is a not subscription. Okay. And here you can set what can this admin do. Manage message, add member, add new member. All right, this is enough for sending message. Save. All right, here it is, add it. And also add it to number of subscribers. All right. Now our bot can send message to this channel. All right. And here for the chat ID, here, copy this, this, copy, copy username, you need to copy username, and paste it for chat ID, and please note that for public channels, the chat ID must start with add followed by the channel username, all right, it's ready, now let's make the request, copy it, and let me put this here. And I want to make the request simply with Chrome. You can make the request with anything you want, like PHP, curl, or anything. All right, paste it and hit enter. All right, done. The bot said hi. And this is the result. Pretty printed, bot username and text and other data and let's say a goodbye all right and in the document you can use more methods here like forward messages or sending photos or anything you want